What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we got some huge 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 Madden 22 news. Now why is it huge? First off, it's our first real Ultimate Team news and second because this is going to change a lot of things. Now I don't think this is going to be an impact that makes or breaks Mutt. I don't think it's going to be one of those things. I think it's one of those things that sound bigger in the short term. But in the grand scheme of things, eventually we'll forget about this. But in the short term, guys, this is huge news. This is essentially uh, rewriting the way we play Mud, right? Which is kind of cool, actually, in my opinion, because we, that's what we needed. We needed change. Mud was becoming very repetitive. We need some change of pace, show that they actually care and they're working towards fixing some things. Now, we're going to go over everything, but this is the auction house change, right? <clears throat> so, it kind of is going to be similar to FIFA in the sense, which I always find it weird that they have like three or four different ultimate teams uh, for each game. And they all run things certain certain ways differently and that they don't copy you know i always thought that they'd kind of emulate whichever one's working best but i guess it's also per game per community but nonetheless guys this is huge news and i want to go over now before we get into today's video hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below let me know to what degree do you think this news is. do you think it's important do you think it's big news or just minor let me know let's head on down so here we go. So with the launch of Madden 22, we're introducing a few new features to Madden Ultimate Team auctions, economic information, recent sales, and price ranges. Now, we'll talk about price ranges in just a second, but I actually am a big fan of recent sales because in my history of playing Ultimate Team, guys, nothing is more frustrating than having to sometimes sell players. Tell me I'm wrong, guys. You know, when you first start playing, it's so much fun. You're making coins. It gets to a point where you're just tired of it. Sometimes you open packs and you want to sell your players. You want to just hold on to them and wait for a collection. But tell me I'm wrong, right? So you go to you what you have to sell a whole team the market's gonna you know the market went up and you have to start selling some players so you got to sell your entire team and you go to your quarterback you go to the auction block look it up go in see how much it's going for is that really what it's going for is that a snipe price back on out go back in get the player put him up you go put him up you go to the next player then you found out you were undercut you go back out put him back down check the new price it's a hassle it's an absolute hassle not just that another thing is this yes they did implement the lb feature which does show you there what they you know their current prices but that still is you know a little funky in its own right now another thing is this oftentimes when you're trying to sell players it becomes more of a hassle than it's worth sometimes sometimes you just put a player up for the wrong price and you lose a lot of coins this way so people will be like okay i bought aaron Rodgers last night for 145 he's probably around 135 but i wanted to sell quick i put it for 135 little did you know he went back up to 155 and another thing is this some people don't understand the prices aren't always the prices right now aaron Rodgers could be 130 but in reality he's 155 but right now there was a quick little run like people just opened up a bunch of 1030 packs and they went down but that's not really his price if you look at recent sales and i'll show you like oh he just sold for 165 155 don't put him up for 135 he's just below the market right now and that's a good thing to see and then the price range we'll get to right now now price ranges guys essentially like fifa means that you, there's a minimum and a maximum you can sell players for so based on the screenshot of aaron Rodgers. The minimum price he can be sold for is a million coins. Like, that's the lowest you can post him for. And the max is 25 mil. I don't think this is a legitimate price range, guys. This is just an example price range. It's a work in progress, obviously. Realistically, let's say an 86 Aaron Rodgers. His minimum price might be 50, or let's say 45,000 coins. And his maximum will be 250,000 coins, let's just say, right? Now, they did say when the card first comes out, there won't be price ranges. So remember that. There won't be price ranges on new cards. Essentially, the way it's going to work is after, you know, enough sales have been made, they're going to have a quota per card. They will they will uh, use the the intel and the data collected from those sales of how much does he typically sell for what's the highest price we saw what's the lowest price we saw get rid of the outliers and just like an economic spreadsheet create the sheet and be like okay so lowest price we've ever seen really sell it's like actual not sniping is like the lowest price he ever goes down to is around 40 to 30k so let's put the 20 as the minimum the highest we saw was 200k so let's put the maximum to 300k and there we go let's work within those parameters this is primarily for two things first they say to keep it fair for the newer players, which yes, it, and this hasn't been a problem in recent Madden, which is why that's kind of BS for the most part. In past Maddens, like Madden 13, they would get this LTD Bo Jackson, and they would literally keep him up for 4 million coins for the whole entire year of Madden. There would always be 4 million coins, you just couldn't touch those cards. I used to call them like untouchable cards. And it was annoying because if you didn't essentially spend, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars in the game, you couldn't play with a lot of these cool players. And that hasn't been a problem recently, so more than likely, it's to affect coin buyers and coin sellers. Give them, give them some trouble. So if they want to sell, you know, a million coins, they have to buy three Aaron Rodgers and sell, or four Aaron Rodgers and do it four times for 250, which probably can trigger, you know, anything, any amount of things in the game. But point is, it's going to be to affect coin sellers more so. Like I said, if this was older Maddens, or if they're going to go back to, you know, above 100 stats or these crazy cards, they're going to limit the auction in a way where coins are, you know, the supply is lower, then yes, it will, it will protect us from getting those million to 20 million coin players. Or like FIFA, where they had like Ronaldo's and Messi, they went for millions it'll prevent that but otherwise guys price ranges 
I think this is a good, I think the economic information of recent sales, <clears throat> in my opinion, is important. Medium price, what's the price he typically sells for? That's important too. So you can know like, okay, you want this Drew Brees today. If you want to see what it typically sells for, and again, you don't have time to go on Mudhead or you haven't been on the auction block all day, you're just logging on at 10 o'clock at night after work. You just want to go sell your players real quick. Medium price, okay, Aaron Rodgers typically in the medium sells around 9 million.5. Look at his recent sales, okay, 109. Okay, so he's actually up right now. So as long as I'm above the medium price, I'm at a good price point. Makes selling a lot easier for most people, in my opinion, especially newer players. And again, price ranges are still a little controversial, but I do like the overall <clears throat> idea of changing up the game because that's the problem. The game's been stagnant for a while. So, you know, changing the auction block, changing the, you know, the, um, the way it looks, the interface, changing some colors, you know, changing color. And again, guys, a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, okay, is that the card art? I don't think it is. Again, if you haven't realized anything about Madden yet, they don't, especially like, okay, so Kralo and those guys accidentally reveal things on stream here and there. When the Madden team is dropping stuff, they're not going to accidentally reveal an entire thing like this. Like they may leave something in a corner, like, oh, chill factor. Oh, they just revealed that we're going to have a Christmas promo. We knew that. Everyone's going to be talking about this card art. I believe that they're just giving you a card art from pretty much this year and some put together scraps to have in like dev folders and just putting it together for you to see as a example. And why? Because so we got the Madden 22 beta, right? This ultimate team. Everyone's like, oh, there's no new abilities. Not true. They're going to reveal this ability sometime in, you know, July. They're going to like they did last year with special X Factor players and they'll reveal them then. They're just giving us the copy and pasted ones from last year into the new game. The card art. They're going to use a mixture of old card art and old icons they have throw us off and then i think they'll do a big card art reveal because why wouldn't they do a card art reveal they always do a card art reveal it doesn't make sense for them to do it this way which is why i believe there will be a different card art again i highly doubt after all the crap they got this year about fix the card art fix matter franchise they go with the same exact player model to a t so don't take that for what it is again you see abilities here you see doubled up on abilities times two that's weird again are you gonna be able to double up abilities I don't, I'm not sure, but I do know this, that do not take any of this at face value. What they want to show you is this, everything else around is just a filler. The same reason why there's snow and X-Factor, they just have everything bundled up together. But yeah, moving on from that, these features will apply to all items that are auctioned. Um, so median sale price went over that. And this ensures a fair price for high level player items, making them more accessible to all players. And price ranges help restrict the transfer of illegitimate coins. Now here's the thing guys again so this does actually limit sniping a bit if you are a sniper so it doesn't I'm, it's not going to kill it entirely right so aaron Rodgers, like see here he goes from a million to 25 million if aaron Rodgers is being sold for 14 million you still can get him at a million and you're still gonna be able to make your money but it's going to stop the people who literally made a living off of getting cards for 150 or when you go on mudhead and you see like 99 ronnie lot sold for 150 last night you're like who put him up for 150 those crazy snipes are going to be gone which i actually think is a good thing now guys you have to remember on your end you're making some coins there's another guy on the other side who just lost maybe their entire team i've i've had a friend who won some um, 913 he saved up all like two or three months worth of coins remember back then coins and supply was very different he saved up two to three months worth of coins to get 450k we didn't open packs we were kids i mean uh he bought himself a barry sanders ghost card 99 and that car went for like 300k which was a crazy amount of money back then like 99 players were like 20k and then he sold him and saved up for the Adrian Peterson MVP three star or four star. And he bought him for 400K. That was the craziest back in the game. And when he went to go sell him, because of course that was a lot of money, he was going to sell him by the new AP four star or whatever it was. Um, when he went to go sell Barry Sanders, he went and put him up and he was spamming the button. And back then, like there was no confirmation. Like if you put post auction, like you just did it. He double clicked up and clicked post and he posted it for 150. And some guy got his Barry Sanders for 150 coins. And that was it. He essentially wants to cry and quit Madden at that point because he was out of coins all those months and that thing you had to play like and those were, they were full game solos like four quarters six minutes legend difficulty i'm telling you guys i i like on your end your sniper's like oh okay 150 i made 100k someone may have just lost the 100 bucks they spent in packs someone may have just lost everything you know that could have been their only pull i honestly do kind of like that they're fixing that because you know for whoever it helps it hurts a lot more on the other end and then of course we go on down they're going to be per platform, which the medium prices per, flat, per platform does confirm it will not be cross compatible in term cross platform in terms of auction block. The game could be cross uh, platform, but I'm not sure if the auction block will be. And then, of course, the medium price and all this stuff will dynamically change, guys. So remember, this isn't set in stone, which is good because if Aaron Rodgers is going to sell at a minimum of 40 to 250, what if in like a month or two when Aaron Rodgers is only going for like or two months when he's only going for 30K? Because, of course, he dropped down in price because he's no longer a usable card but then on the other end what about when he comes out with a new card and you need him for the power up and he shoots up that actually depending on how big the limits are based on this limit it was 24 million i don't think that's accurate i think it'll be much closer this could limit people from over overselling you know aaron roger power to 200k after the fact but it also could just do nothing because the, the the thresholds could the ranges could be so high and low that it won't affect price movement 
but it will affect you know 150 snipes and 10 million coin uh coin sellers that's what i think this is more for i don't think the ra i don't think they're gonna keep it within a 30k range it's kind of unfair so i don't think it'll, i think it'll, you'll still be able to weak the snipe and do all that stuff i just don't think there'll be those you know spamming all day bot 150 coin snipes it's gonna stop bots too which is pretty cool and of course price ranges will for each item will be wide enough that players should be able to enjoy engaging with auction without being impacted so again this isn't really meant to affect the people it's more meant to affect coin sellers and people who put up their cards for an unfair amount like 150 and of course this would be dynamically changed throughout the year so of course don't think it's a one-time thing will i still be able to snipe players off the auction house yes this will still be uh there, once there's a set amount of sales the price ranges will be put in place which will stop the 150s but there'll still be an opportunity for the 150s how quickly will the price range go into it depends dynamically on how many are sold how often will they be updated they will change they will update hourly at launch what happens if i post a player above the price range it would not allow you to post them so if the player you know you put him up for 200 million or sorry 2 million and he go his max is 1.8 million it won't even post will ea be listening to product feedback yes they will because they did say they want to make sure this is going to work they don't want this just to be some dumb feature they want to make sure that's fair for everyone so if you have feedback you know you can go on the the hq the forums and come back and let people know uh, what do you think but yeah overall guys we're gonna have to try it to really understand it it may have an issue the first it may be glitchy there may be some workarounds but for the meantime guys i think they did a good job it's gonna offer some change of pace tech snipers change the coin up you know the coin selling game but i don't think i'll have that big of an impact and then of course um i don't think it'll affect the day-to-day -day players as much besides the 150 coin snipers so that's about it hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much will it change month? Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.